All right, one last topic, and this is, um, I just learned about this, and I think it's very disturbing, and I don't know if you're aware of it or not. There is online a website called 247wallstreet.com. It is uh, a financial and real estate research firm that is, did you have a comment? No, I, I'm just getting Okay, a that is reliable. And it has a new report out on ghost towns in the United States. And it is a list of 16. Brigantine is number six. And the figures show 16% of vacant residential units, totaling about 1,700. And also says that since 2009, we have lost about a quarter of our population. Now, this has gone out nationally. It could have an effect on business, the economy, home values. Now, I mean, I, let me ask you a question because I know that you're, you're, um, you're out there and, and you're scanning for information. Is this something that, that flashed across your radar screen or was this something that was sent to you by someone else? No, this is something that information was given to me, and, and I looked on, on the computer, and there it was. Right. So um, that, it didn't look good from what I read. Mike, if you would uh, just uh, the, Mike our... Brennan, President of Chamber of Commerce, 1113 Bayshore Avenue, 2C, Brigantine, New Jersey. And Phillips, I got to be honest with you. I believe in opposition in government. I think discussion's good. I think opposing thoughts are good. Uh, this council is very familiar with me, having opposing thoughts to them, uh, approving thoughts with them. To come out and spread gossip that Brigantine is a ghost town without any research on your part is irresponsible. I always respected you, but now I have to question, was that misplaced? Brigantine, most businesses are up around 20%. The chamber has been working so hard through volunteer work and fundraising and working along with this city council to promote our island as a resort destination. Rentals, in August, you could not get one. Ghost Town? This comes from a, a wannabe shock jock and it now is presented at a council meeting? Where's the responsibility in that? Was there any research done? I'm appalled. I walked two and a half blocks from my home after watching this council meeting because I was appalled that you would even bring that up to put a, a bad name on our town when there's so many volunteers. Do you want to pay me for the 100 hours I put in a month at, as president of the Chamber of Commerce? No. I don't think you do. We've been working so hard. We, we committed to a $30,000 commercial campaign. February, March, April, or January, February, March. Chamber money to promote this island, to fill these vacancies. We were asked at that last Commercial Development and Economic Committee, well, where are we going to get these new rentals? Well, we got 700 properties for sale. Yes, we're, we're going to turn them into investors. We are... Everybody's working for the same common cause. No matter how we do it, we may have different opinions on how we're going to do it, but everybody's working for the same cause. And I'm appalled. I am appalled, man, that you would even bring up that irresponsible report that we're a ghost town. We have what? such a little vacancy rate. There's like, how many houses did you knock down? John? Seven. Seven? So we got seven houses that are ghost houses, okay? Seven out of what? We have t over 10,000 rateables, 8,000 residential houses. I mean, you do your stats. 
in August, if you wanted to rent a house here, you couldn't. Every restaurant, every retail place is up 20%. Do you think we're doing this for fun? No, we're not. How do you know that, Ann? Well, let's by looking around here, why don't you interview these people? I do. Mike, they're Mike, members of my community. Mike, Mike if you if just if you would, yeah, director, okay. comments to us. I just, I just want to say to the community at large, Bringing Dean's doing better than we ever done. We're moving forward. The business community, the government, and the people at large are moving forward. And don't listen to the gossip. We are progressing. And everybody in here has the same common goal. And we're working towards it. We have different ideas how to do it. But that's democracy, and that's good. Because eventually, we're going to come up with a solution. We will be the best community out there. We offer the best. Nobody has four-wheel drive paths like we have. Nobody has Atlantic County events, right? Best beaches in Atlantic County? Top 10. Top 10, OK? Actually, so, top 10 in the state. When you listen to this gossip things, I ask, please, do not. And it's just not justified, it's not supported, and it's just rhetoric. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Shirley?